Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about um, one of the characters that you guys have been asking me to create a guy for a long time. And it is that I didn't want it to do it. It's just that I didn't have the weapon for her. And I think that um, having the weapon is, is just way, way more important even than actually having the character to level 100. So even though I have had the Leatris to level 100 in all of my characters for a long time, I um, just was not able to create it because I, so far I had I had not the weapon. Now I was able to get her weapon, the UR weapon, on my free-to-play account, which is this one that you are seeing right now, and the SR version of the weapon on my free to on your main account, right? Uh, my main account is being like way more unluckier than my free-to-play account. Like at this rate, my free-to-play account will be end up being my main account <laughs> because I have been so so lucky on this account. But anyways, guys, um, let's talk about Liatris. How good is she? Where you can use her? Uh, why would it be so important to get this character? And so on and so forth. Starting from the basics, um, I think that we definitely need to talk about the uh, stats for this character. And when it comes to uh, the statistics for this character, Leatrice is a character that has a pretty decent amount of attack. She has like the, I think that's like the aver the average or like the normal amount of attack that all characters have, which is 35. And that's a base in level 100 is 200, 352. Um, for her HP, it's just all the same than any other um, attacker or DPSer in the game. They are very, very squishy. I think that that we really, really need some attackers that are more bulky, that are more like bruiser. Like, I really want PvP battles to not be determined in just one or two turns. I, I would like for characters to actually have some positioning, strategy, survivability, combination, right? So, Debs, if you really want to do something regarding their PvP, I think that it is really, really important that we um, have some characters that are more the Bruiser type. That they, yes, deal some good damage, but they also are a little bit defensive. Like Justia, for example. Justia is a perfect example of that, right? She deals massive damage, and at the same time, she has a lot of HP. But anyways... Let me not, not, not stray too far from where I was. Um, when it comes to crit rate, she is on the low side. She doesn't have like any special increases on crit rate. She's 10%. But on crit damage, she has 25% more crit damage than any other character. Uh, except for Maria, that also has 75. And, well, yeah, also Angelica, that has 100% of crit rate, crit damage. <laughs> so, that's pretty good. When it comes to her weapon, her weapon gives you... 15% crit rate, and I really love that that's the case. Because that allows you to create better builds. You can focus more on crit damage and attack for this character, which are basically and definitely the best stats for any character. But having the crit rate allows you to do a more balanced build. Um, let's talk about the uh, costumes now. Uh, her base costume pretty good it has always been good if you guys are having any issues completing the main story in hard very hard um all you have to do is just complete the story the first time and then after that you recruit uh and um the actress on pack number eight and then from then on just focus on everything on the actress level her up get her to level 80 um Get her weapon or craft a weapon for her. And she will definitely carry you through basically the entire story pack in hard and in very hard. Uh, the only downside of the base costume is that it is very expensive when it comes to SP. It's 6 SP. And um, it doesn't increase anything of the damage when you, when you increase the amount of copies of this costume. Even at plus 5, the only thing that you are getting is just more damage with the uh, dot. And that's it. Um, so she would always deal 30% of her attack 5 times. That's uh, not going to be changing. Um, then now we have the new costume, which is uh, the new, new Neon Stalker uh, costume, right? 
And this one uh, is 4 SP, it's also a cooldown of 5 turns. But the good thing about this one is that it pretty much is able to clear an entire lane of enemies when it comes to PvP. I mean, the only way that you are not able to clear an entire lane if if the enemy, um, let's say, let's talk about the um, left side, right? Of Let's see that the enemy has two characters positioned on the left side of the squares on the PvP arena. If they have one character at the very back, last tile at the very back, and then one character at the very front, since the Atris is skipping, she's only going to be killing the character that is in the back. But if people have more than two characters in a lane, at least all characters that are in that lane are dead. As long as there are at least three characters on, on, on a lane, all the characters on that lane are dead because she's attacking five squares. Uh, she skips one and then she attacks two to the front and two to the back. So no matter how they are positioned, if there are three characters in uh, a lane, they are completely dead. This uh, costume actually increases the damage for both things, the dot and the physical damage as well. And it goes down to three speed, which is insane. It allows you to use the strategy of using RNS, which is going to be giving you a lot of attack and crit rate, and then using um, the costume or um, Leatris at the very start of the battle. Something good about that is that you may treat Leatris as pretty much a one uh, woman army. Like you may create a PvP team in which the Atris is pretty much the only DPSer, and then the other characters that you bring are things like, for example, uh, Lackleys, and um, what is this called? Uh, Sayer, and uh, Justia, and Angelica, right? Those characters that are a little bit more bulky, and then you just have them survive in one lane, and then you keep the Atris in the top lane. Why in the top lane? Because remember, guys, if there are enemies that are in the middle lane, they are always going to be attacking the enemies that are in the bottom lane. Always. They just always move down. They never go up. So, if you have Leatris alone in the top lane, she can kill everything that is in that lane, except for some very specific scenarios that I already mentioned, right? And... Then, aside from that, she's going to be safe until everything that you have in the bottom lane is dead. And if you have bulky characters there that can receive a couple of hits, then you are going to be able to um, survive. And then when the next turn comes, then you have the base costume that deals massive amounts of damage and that attacks nine tails. Uh, basic, basically, like everything, the, the nine tiles, I'm sorry, what tails? Tiles, right? And so pretty much everything that is, has survived is going to be dead on that on that uh, net's attack. Uh, and yeah, so that would be pretty much what you are going to be doing, right? You just focus all your resources on Leatris and she carries, carries you in PvP and in PvE. Let's talk about gear recommendations. Um, my recommendations is as it follows, right? Just keep in mind that I, this is my free-to-play account, so I don't really have a lot of these materials that you use to re roll these stats right so this is what i got by default i actually leveled this up it came like this with crit damage and crit rate and i level it up to plus nine and it gave me triple crit damage believe it or not but my actual recommendation is the following go with two rolls with crit rate and one roll with crit damage and then do the same in all of the pieces all of them then instead of using a uh, a necklace for crit rate then you are going to be using the venomous touch for crit damage of course try to make sure that you have a tier 4 one so that you can have a, a you know a bigger amount of crit damage and then uh you definitely want to use the god king silver arm because this is going to be giving you more attack and you definitely need that attack and um I think that you should be going for something around 50% crit rate, as you can see here, and at least, I don't know, like, um, something like 400 to 450 crit damage. 
2k 1.2 5k attack if you can and that's it so my recommendation just remember go for two pieces of armor it doesn't matter what it is because she's going to die if someone hits her so don't doesn't matter if it is defense or, or magic resistance the important thing is that it is an armor that you wear armor that is tier four you get two you do you do two rolls of crit ray one roll of crit damage and then uh again venomous touch for the neck godkin's arm for the silver arms for the loads and her signature weapon of course um if you're able to do that i'm pretty i'm guarantee you guys that she's definitely going to be able to one shot any enemy in an entire lane so um Aside from that, guys, on PvP, uh, on PvE, sorry, um, she's definitely going to be a key character, especially because we have a new uh, content that is going to be arriving in 18 days, right, when we're going to be able to have the first battle versus the boss. And this character is insane because she has an skip ability. And some of the times, the weak points of the enemies are going to be in the back. She covers nine tiles. So it is very important because she's going to be able to attack all of the weak points. And she has dots. And dots are going to be dealing damage over time. Which is also, again, another way for you to deal additional damage. So, all in all, guys, I think that Leatris is... One, if not the best character, wait, no. I think that the best character in the game is for sure Shahrazad. That shit is broken. Like, believe me now in the comments, guys. Who do you think is the best character in the game? Like, all rounder, best character in the game. To me, I think that Shahrazad is the best character because she's just broken. All of her costumes are insane. Um, but let me know what's your opinion, guys. So, aside from that, guys, um, I'm going to be leaving you with a demonstration of PvP. One part of the demonstration I recorded with my main account, and then one part I recorded with my free-to-play account. So you're going to be able to see her performing with a SR weapon and a UR weapon. You're going to be able to distinguish between one and the other because on my main account I'm using Leatris and Arines because I have uh, Leatris plus three on that one. But on my um, free-to-play account I'm using Samai and Leatris instead. So, without further ado, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, participating with me, um, you know, commenting. If you have any questions in English or in Spanish, just post it in the chat and I will for sure answer you guys. I'm always answering any questions that you're putting there, guys. Um, see you in the next video, guys. Peace. Fields of ice, but didn't inside a light be well aware of roads we've gone by. But yesterday's aside, made a future head on. Now, trailblazers keep widows in mind. One, stop staying within the lights. Two, we always alive. Three, even if we don't get the upper hand, we'll fight for us. Never care and report hindsight Five, let us light the night Six, even when there are wills With their wills, go ahead Get it for the rest Fields of ice, but didn't inside a light Be well aware of roads we've gone by But yesterday's aside, made a future head on Now trailblazers keep widows in mind
across fields of ice, but didn't in starlight be well aware of roads we've gone by. Put yesterday's aside, made a future head on, now trailblazers.